Have you got too many tabs in your spreadsheet? Switching between the tabs is a bit annoying. Well, what if you, instead of that, had an index, just like this, where you could click straight through and go jump straight to that sheet. There's the men's style. If I want to go back, go back to the index and jump straight through to pets. Nice and easy. Let me show you how to do that. Now stick around to the end because I've got a bonus tip that might just make it a whole lot easier for you to zip around from one sheet back to the start. First, a little revision. If you want to create these tabs or sheets as they're officially called in Google Sheets, then it's really easy to do. A few ways to do it, but well, one simple way is to hit this plus button down the bottom here. And then that will just create the next sheet available. You can see it's uh, slotted this one here. But now you want to rename it. So that's right click and then rename. And this one I'm going to call it work, working from home. Now, the first thing we want to do is just add that little icon there just before each of the tab names. So let's go back to our original sheet, the boring one. And then to do that, you just right click, rename. And all we're going to do is go to the start and insert on, on a Mac. So I'm going to do Command, Control and Spacebar and then insert a little emoji there. Beautiful kitchen. So that's step number one. The second thing is if you want to swap the sheets around, you just drag and drop them. Just click and then drag. Drag it to there. And now getting to these ones on the right is a bit annoying. You've got to hit this right arrow or left arrow. But in Google Sheets, if you click on this hamburger bar, you get to see all of your sheets. Now, but what about that index page? Well, we're just going to create one here. There it is, sheet 12. I'm going to rename that to index. And then I really want that one to be on the front. So I just drag it right along to the front index there. Now, how do we get each of these up into here so that they are clickable? Really easy. We just go here, insert, and then link. And you can link any of your sheets. Well, I'm going to link the first one here. I'm actually going to have a link to the index there. And then I'll link each of the others. Insert, link, and you can use the shortcut there on the Mac. That's the command and K. And then you go down to sheets and named ranges. And here I can insert my next one. There we are. What I'm doing is I'm linking to a page within this worksheet, not just to some external website. Now, remember, you want to put your sheets in the right order first and add in your emojis as well. Now, what I've got, now I can I can do all the, all the rest of those right down to pets. But now what I've got is these are all hyperlinks. So what I can do is click straight onto their health and personal care, and that will take me straight to the health and personal care tab. But now here's the bonus tip. What if I want to go back to the index? Well, what I can do is add into each of these a button or a link that just says back to index. And what do I do there? I just link, once again, Command K, and I just link back to my index. And so when I go to the index page, I've got them there. I go into health and personal care, and then I can flick straight back, go to index. Okay, takes me back almost like a table of contents. Now, there are lots of other ways of moving around with the spreadsheets here, but one other thing that I'm going to show you is you can pretty them up a little bit just by adding some color. Right click, change color. And you can even hide some of these if you want to hide them. You can still see them if you go into the view menu. So let me just uh, change the color here. And you can see that the tab color has changed and just stands out a little bit more if I do it that way. And now if I want to 
uh, hide them. If I want to hide a tab, I can do that. Just hide sheet. Remember tabs or sheets, they're called sheets. Now they're still hidden here, but as I, as I hide them, it, makes it, it means that there are fewer for me to scroll back and forth through, but I can still view the hidden sheets just here. View hidden sheets. And, and there, there we go. That'll take me straight through to lawn and garden. If you found this helpful, then give it a like and uh, check out my channel for other tech tips, especially for you if you're working from home.